Her beef wasn't with the trade summit, but with a strong police presence. Look at him. Minutes later, she took another rubber bullet on her forehead as she crouched behind her homemade sign that read, Fear Totalitarianism. You know, okay? Don't get around me. Let me, let me see it. Hit her in the face! Now her case is back in the news because of this. The good news about being, uh, being able to watch you guys live on TV is that lady with the red dress. Yeah. Yeah. A police video shot after the shooting incident just released following a review of excessive force complaints at the protest. I don't know who got her, but when it, it, was, yeah. when it went through the sun, it hit her smack dab in the middle of the head. Attorney Ritter says she was too scared to file a complaint before, but now she intends to sue for excessive force. I was cowering with a poster behind me, but my fingers were in front of the poster. I believe they thought that my face would have reasonably concluded that my face was behind that poster, and that's why they fired that shot. The Broward Sheriff's Office says Ritter's possible civil rights lawsuit prevents them from talking specifics. Officers at the scene tell CNN they warned the crowd to move back. All right, let's stop Ritter right there. Dispute. Let me explain something, cops. Um, you've been dehumanized. You think you've dehumanized us. When you dehumanize us, you dehumanize yourself, your children, your whole future line. And when they get in this gang mentality, the cop commanders, it's a, it's a um, good old boys club, and the, and the police unions will kick any good police chiefs out to try to get control over them. So I've watched a lot of police training videos. The commanders kiss the butt of all the little cops, and then they all feed on each other and their hatred and disdain for the public, especially in Miami. It was a lot. I mean, a, a federal judge was out there at a previous event in Miami going to their car, and the cops cornered them and beat them down, and they lost a big suit over that because they didn't know. They thought they were going to have a little fun on a side street with a judge and went to, I mean, just beat the person almost to death. And they got in a lot of trouble for that. But that was because that was a that was a real citizen, a God-level person, you know, above them in the government, not a slave scum that's, you know, just here to be stomped on. And so that's why when I'm driving down the road and there's lanes on both sides of me, Austin cop, no lights on, just run right up behind you with pleasure. Just, just, just getting, and then, and then swing around and almost hit you. And then just sit there with a the light in your face going, you son of a bitch, citizen, you are slave, civilian, I rule you. And if I want to shoot you in the face with rubber bullets, you know, that girl at the Red Sox game came out of a bar. They shot her in the face 10 feet away, blew her eyeball back in her brain. She bled to death. The cops went on the news and said she shouldn't have been out there. Death, death, death. Now, hey, don't worry. The bankers are going to take everything you got, cops. You think you can just deal death on us and deal pain on us? You don't think there aren't bigger devils above you in the New World Order that will have their way with you? You think you're safe from evil? We have liberty and freedom. and we're Look at that famous photo. That was in Oregon. That woman, uh, they said no protest. Uh, she was peacefully with a sign, and there's video of that on the web, and they just start choking her till she passes out. Just men in black uniforms grabbing a 55-year-old uh, you know, woman, just choking her. Ah, you're going to learn who we are. You're going to learn to submit. The foreign bankers have given us unlimited power, and we're going to rule you. This is our country. Ah, you're here. We're going to feed on your ass. And the cops just drink fluoride water. Oh, they take their kids and just shoot them up with mercury. And the kids become autistic. The cops don't care. They're, I'm going to the tech bar. I don't care if my kid's brain damaged. And they drink whiskey and wreck and kill everybody in Austin. And then when they wreck and kill themselves, the cops then go and SWAT team the bar owners that sold them too much whiskey. It's your fault you sold too much whiskey to a god. You don't sell too much whiskey to a god. We're god. You understand? We rule America. We'll shoot you in the face, we'll bloody your face, and we'll laugh about it. Because we're weak gang members. You look at those men. Go back to the video of the cops laughing. Look how soft they are. Look how their eyes don't have any electric liberty in them. Look at how soft they are. Look at how disgusting they are. And you can see a few of the cops in there are looking like they're not having fun. And if you look at their faces, they look human. They look like they still have a soul. Back it up to them laughing. You know. in the face. Now her case is back in the news because of this. The good news about being uh, being able to watch you guys live on TV is that lady with the red dress. Yeah. 
A police video shot after the shooting incident just released following a review of excessive force complaints at the protest. Hit pause. Hit pause. That one's soft right there. That guy joined the force because I guarantee you he's the type of guy that bullied kids that were smaller than him. Then those kids grew up and kicked his ass. I know those types. I've seen that face. And, and now they love it. They can abuse and beat up everybody and nobody can stop them. Nobody can stop them. They're having their way with America. They want our guns. And if you're not with them, cops and military, ah, then you will declare that you're with the Republic now. And don't tell me that I'm a weirdo because I'm upset about this and I should only go get upset about my favorite football team winning or losing. Listen, I know what tyranny means. I know the bankers are putting poison in our food and water. I know the bankers have stolen $8.5 trillion. I know we're under War Powers Act. I know they're hurting us. I know they're carrying out New World Order. I know they staged those terror attacks. You know what it's like to gut up to this and go out every day and go past the peer pressure and come out day one and say, 9-11 was an inside job and lose most of the radio stations I was on. You know what it's like to go to sleep every night knowing you work for a bunch of psychotic killers and you bastards are probably going to end up killing me one day? You know what it's like knowing you've ruined my life? You know what it's like, you sons of bitches? I'm tired of your crap! You commit evil, you're part of an evil system, and we're standing up against you. And the Republic is going to defeat you in the end. Some of us won't make it personally through this, but a lot of us are. And in the end, you are going to be brought to justice for all the kids you've kidnapped for CPS, all you CPS workers, all you corrupt bureaucrats, all of you that have had your way with innocent children over and over again and who think your evil's invincible. You're not invincible, and God is going to deal with you. And you are cursed to hell. I'm done. i got to get out of here. I'm pissed off now. Robert Wanick, you can make some closing comments. I'll give you the last two minutes. We're going to end... We have a real chance at this new world order. In order...